I have a great view from my balcony, don't I? This is beautiful. Oh man, what a beautiful, beautiful morning. Hope everyone is doing fine. First order of business in today's episode is for me to fix, or not fix, but create a storage room. I don't have a storage room. I have everything down there and the, and the, and the chests are piling up. So I'm actually gonna go mining for some iron and I'm gonna fill the storage room with iron uh, chests. And hopefully that's enough to store all my goodies and valuables. Storage room is coming along. It's uh, it's pretty expensive. Eight iron per one of these chests. You know, I can upgrade them after and turn them into gold and then diamond to have even more storage. That's kind of good because I don't want a massive storage room. I just wanted a tiny little storage room. So eventually I probably will upgrade all these guys and get them uh, to diamond level, hopefully. If I can manage to have that much diamond. That's going to be quite a feat. Also, I got to get rid of this uh, floor right here because these these chests, let me show you. Will not open because it's a full block. If I change that to a slab, however, it will open. It'll give me one extra row of storage along the top of this little tiny room. So I think I, I think I will need that. So uh, yeah, we got to change this floor eventually. But right now, it's time to go out into the wild and train some of our pokes. That's right. We have a couple of low-level pokes in our uh, in uh, in our in our team. I always forgot. Is it a party? Is it technically called a party? I don't know. We want to get this guy up because um, we want him to be our false swiper. This guy's going to be good, but he needs some attacking moves. Right now, he's got all status moves. Like, he needs some actual damaging moves. And then this guy, get him up to level 25. Perhaps use him uh, in the tournament. And also get Mr. Mime up to level 25. Perhaps use him in the tournament. Uh, that Lapras, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. Let me switch it up. I'm going to put the other Lapras in here. Right there. So get him up to level 25. And then we have many, many tournament options for week one. We have these two so far. And then we have all these other guys. Well, not this guy. Because he's not a generation one. And then, of course, the fan piece. We've got to get some pickups. I'd like to point out that I now know that Crobat is also not a generation one Pokemon. Unfortunately, this video was recorded before you all told me how wrong I was in the previous episode. Throw out Charizard. Switch Pokemon over to Fred. And then... Destroy this Zubat. Charizard learned Dragon Rage, a move we did not ban in week one, which is totally usable. I'm going to put it on him, but if I do use him in the tournament, I'm probably not going to use Dragon Rage. So let's try and replace. Let's replace Scratch. Nobody likes Scratch. Hey, he's evolving. Where, where are you going, little guy? I want to watch the evolution happen. Yay, Charmander. To Charmeleon. Have you guys ever noticed that nobody really cares about the mid evolutions? Like Char Charmander is beloved, Charizard is beloved, Charmeleon, not so much. Where are you at there, buddy? You look good though. Let's keep this ball rolling. Time to lock up Lapras. Already at level 25. That leaves us uh, Charmeleon, Charmeleon and Mr. Mime. You know what, while we're at it, why don't we get rid of Lapras, because it's at level 25, bring in a fan pee. You know what, this Pikachu is also not doing me very much at this current time. So let's leave the Pikachu out of it, bring in... Oh, I also wanted to try the Abra, right? And the Vulpix. <laughs> Lots of options here. The Abra would be a good one to have. Anyway, let's get two fan peas in here. Let's get uh, Charmeleon. You know what, let's get three fan peas in here. 10% uh, chance each time that uh, you get a picked up item from defeating somebody. And then we'll try to get Charmeleon and Mr. Mime up to level 25. Got Charmeleon locked in at 25. Look at all these options. Uh, I'm going to bring in Abra. And let's get Mr. Mime to 25 now. What the heck is this? I'm not sure who built this. I'm not sure why. Maybe... What the? Who's been to the end already? This doesn't make any sense. Maybe that's just what it's supposed to look like. I have no idea. Oh, jeez. I, I would love to see this evolution. My Abra. By the way, Mr. Mime is already level to 25. I'm working on the Abra now. He's about to... Change it to a Kadabra. Yes. Where are you? There you are, beautiful. And he learned Psybeam and Kinesis. So what are his moves now? Teleport, Psybeam, and Kinesis. Okay, good. Psybeam's a good one to have in our little tournament if I end up using him. Okay, sir, you are level 21. Let's get you to 25. Get out of here, fan P. Okay, so 
The next uh, order of business here, since all the dudes here, I'll show you guys how many options I currently have. I could even do the uh, Vulpix, but I'm not going to. This is my week one options. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight options. We've got to choose three of these. I'm leaning towards three specifically, uh, but I'll let you guys help me out. I even put this guy in here because why not? He's level 25. Sure, he's got false swipe, which is kind of a waste of a move. It does do a lot of damage, kind of. Not really. Uh, but he's got Razor Relief. He's got Poison Powder and Vine Whip. I mean, those are all pretty good. They could be, they could be very useful in the tournament. The week, not, not a tournament, sorry. The, the, the week one battles... Um, but the next order of business is to get some Everstones because I think I have one already. So I need one, two, three, four. I'm going to get an EXP all. And when I do, I'm going to level all these guys up. However, I don't want them evolving. So we need Everstones and the Gravelers here have a 5% chance of dropping them. Not a great chance at all. Uh, but why not? Let's give it a shot. Uh, nothing. And then on top of that, I mean, I have a slight chance of getting it with the pickup ability anyway. So I'm just going to be out here fighting Gravelers and pretty much anything else I see in hopes that I get a couple of Everstones. I've come to a Mesa, thanks to Sten for giving me the wrong cords, but eventually giving me the right cords to this Mesa. Um, because I didn't get any Everstones. I fought a bunch of Gravelers. I fought a bunch of Geodudes. They have a 5% chance each of dropping stuff. And neither one of them dropped anything. I do not want to fight you. Oh, why did I click slash? I just want to leave. Please let me leave. Thank you. However, Boldors have a very rare chance of spawning in a Mesa, but they have a 50% chance of dropping an Everstone. So, oh, Ice is not... Boldors' defense was decreased. Boldors' speed was increased sharply. Boldor flinched. Chip away at him. Wasn't very effective. What type is Boulder? He's rocking something else, right? Ice seems to work against him, though, pretty well. Uh, Ruby, really? I got Flash, at least, as a pickup. 50% chance of getting an Everstone. And I end up with zero Everstones. But I figure, you know what? The rarity of the Bulldoors is worth me uh, trying, to, trying to find Everstones over here because I'm not getting anything from anybody else. After some uh, conversation in the chat, I completely forgot, and so did a couple other people apparently, that you can actually catch these guys, and they hold Everstone. So if I do this, and I go Quick Ball, and hopefully I catch him, he should be holding an Everstone. Oh, 50 chance that he's holding an Everstone, so that's kind of good too. Come on, buddy, come on. And these guys spawn everywhere, so let's see. We got this. Here we go. You, you are holding an Everstone. That is fantabulous. What type are you? Weak armor. I'm going to go ahead and keep a bunch of them here and then take out all their Everstones and then release the ones that are terrible. I'll keep I'll keep the ones that might have a good ability or something. I don't know. Okay, I got a bunch of them. These guys don't have anything. This guy's got a hard stone. By the way, there's a 5% chance that you'll get a hard stone. Uh, these guys all look like they have... Oh, this guy's empty. These guys all look like they have ever stone. Oh, two hard stones? But there's only a five per three hard stones? There's only a 5% chance you're supposed to even get these things. And I got three I got more hard stones. There's a 50% 50 50% chance of these, 5% chance of these. <laughs> and I got the exact same amount. Oh boy. Okay, this one has one. This one has one. Now let's get these guys together here. These are all my fan peas. Wait, there I had, I had another fan pea. Where's my other fan pea go? Right there. Oh, the, these guys all went to my week one box. Okay, never mind. We'll, we'll fix that later. I want to check the abilities on these guys, actually. Before I do that, though, let's get these out, which means we have five. All right, so what is the hidden ability? The hidden ability is Sand Force. Um, Do they even have a hidden ability? That might just be their sturdy, 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 weak armor. Okay, uh, so none of these guys have it. So let me put them here for now. They'll eventually just be released back into the wild. If I can get a Sand Force one, I'll be... Not that I'm looking for it, but I mean, I might as well check while I have them here, right? Uh, sturdy, 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 weak armor, weak armor. Two weak armors that, that time. You guys are all going to get tossed out. I mean released back into the wild. I'm not tossing them away like some some trash. <laughs> Weak armor, sturdy, 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 sturdy. Okay. These guys all go in here. And then the last 
and probably least weak armor. Okay. Well, you guys, oop, you guys can be released back into the wild. Go free, my little weird-looking one-eyed things. It has occurred to me while I'm out here in this desert that I need desperately a flying Pokemon. So, I have just the dude for the job. This Noctowl, sorry, this Hoot Hoot, evolves into a Noctowl at level 20. And it turns into a flyer. And he is like very, very, uh, a short, short distance away from evolving. So let's go ahead and do that. Actually, let's bring this with me. I don't want to, I lost, I can't even count how many I lost last season. I would put them down. I would run off and then I'd never see them again. This Numel, for example. Pokemon, Fred. Fred could use a heal job too. He's uh, he's out of he's out of crunches. Okay, this is not, mm, still no evolution for not for for Hoot Hoot. How far? Oh, he's only 829 away, I think it is. Is it 829 away or No, he's like 200, 300 away. Okay, let's get another higher level Numel here, level 30. I'm going to bring out Fred again. If we can fly on this shiny Hoot Hoot, I mean, what a ride. Right? Here we go. Level 20. Drop all. Hoot Hoot is evolving into Noctowl, and we're going to be able to fly on him. Finally, I have a flyer. Come on, buddy. You're beautiful. Wow, you are. Not as beautiful. Now you're beautiful. Oh, ho, ho, ho. a shiny Noctowl. And look at this. Yeah, this isn't hard to... Con con what the heck is this? All right, that's fine. It doesn't matter. I'll take it. Guys, I decided to do some fishing, and look at what I fished up. What is this, you say? It's a silver bottle cap. Let me tell you all about the silver bottle caps. The silver bottle cap is an item that maxes out one of the six stats. That is HP, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed of a Pokemon. When you right-click a Pokemon with it, you will be able to select what stat do you want to max. That's what it says in the wiki. The uh, English there isn't quite proper but it's an awesome item and we just fished it up along with did I, I fished up a blue shard I, th I don't think that was this time though I think that was last time so I have a blue shard that I fished up a silver bottle cap everything is looking great I'm not sure why I decided to fish it was just one of those things I, I thought to myself you know what you know what I feel like fishing I, I was also testing this okay now I was hoping that I can sit here and I can fish and then I can battle. Come on, battle. See, look, this is a love disc. So I was hoping I could, like, you know, battle these guys, destroy them, and then my pickup team would actually pick up items. But it turns out they do not pick up items from Pokemon you battle when you fish them out of the sea, which is kind of weird and disappointing, but I'll get over it. Look at that adorable little house. I have not gotten to see it from this angle, and it looks really good. It looks very inviting. I'm not sure how I feel about the windows directly on top of each other with just the one block apart, but it looks it looks different. It looks like a place you'd want to spend some time in. I'm cool with it. Whoa, what is that? That's a gym. That's the first gym I've seen on this server. Let's see what type of gym it is. This looks familiar. It looks like the um looks like Is that the flying gym? I think this might be the flying gym. Which which I am woefully unprepared for. Where is the entrance to this gym? It's right there. <laughs> okay. Winning trainers, the Sonic Joey. Oh, are we making like like a like a list? The Sonic Joey. Let's see. What does this guy say? Welcome to the Feather Gym. The gym leader perches himself at the very top. Be careful when jumping from branch to branch is a long way down. So do these guys scale to my level? That's the way down. Um, or are they at a set level? Let's see. First you. You are level 13? Oh. So. So. Can I just like. Roll through these guys? I might be able to. That's one. Jim. Jim, Jim guy down. That's one guy down. One person down. Somebody put a sandstone block here. Couldn't make that jump, huh? Yeah, they're all level 13. This is going to be easy. I've reached the top level 15. I think it started at like level 11 and it gradually got higher. This guy. Oh, oh, I was just checking out your eyeball. I didn't mean to insult you. 
who wants to fight me immediately. Um, so I guess I'll get a badge from this, which is cool. I don't know. Should I have, like, used, like, equal level Pokemon for this? I guess if I wanted to make it more challenging, but really, that's not really... Eh, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care to make this even. I just want some items. A Zephyr badge and Aerial Ace. Thank you, sir. I have a Zep. Ooh, ooh. Can I make like a badge case now? Hold on. Where's the Where's the hole down? I thought there was one. There was one here, wasn't there? Do you gotta go this way? I feel like there was like a pool that you could jump down into. But now I'm not seeing it. Anyway, let's get my knocked owl. Get the heck out of here. We got our first badge. We'll uh, we'll craft a badge case. Actually, how do you how do you do that? Badge case badge case pink white black oh it's just oh nice that's pretty easy then awesome don't forget to put our name on the winning plaque of fame what in the heck is this is this quicksand oh oh this is this is definitely quicksand can i can't pick that up again? Wait, can I pick? Oh! <gasps> Quicksand bucket! That is really cool! I didn't know you could pick this stuff up. What's it good for? Mob traps? I'm gonna make a- I'm gonna make the- a uh, little- a little journey map point of interest here because if I ever need some quicksand, I mean, I don't know how common it is, but this is kinda cool. Like, will it- Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. It feels like web. Like the when you get caught in web, you can't really go anywhere. Can I please get out of it? Can I please... Thank you. Yeesh. Oh, this stuff is really... Messed up, too. Interesting. Another Eevee. Hello. Oh, little Eevee friend, are you coming? Oh, you came right to me. What are the chances I can premiere ball you? Probably slim. Where's that ball at? Two shakes, three shakes, and it's out. Um, okay, okay. Can I possibly not with this guy? Oh, you're only level 10. These guys are level 24. One level 24. Okay, I think I'm just going to keep trying with the premiere ball. And then eventually the timer ball, I guess, because I have one timer ball. I mean, I could just do an ultra ball. Yeah, you know what? I don't know. I don't know, guys. This premiere ball thing is is probably more trouble than it's worth. Look at the particles, though. How can you resist? Let's put our guy to use, shall we? You and you and now. No, 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 no. Do not get damaged. Did you guys see that? It, it almost died. Uh, we're going to pick you, Ivysaur. Okay. You are going to false swipe him. Oh, Ivysaur. I love you already. You're going to false swipe him again. And you're going to false swipe him one more time. Beautiful. Then we're going to reach into uh, our bag of Pokemon. <laughs> I don't think we keep him in a bag. <laughs> we'll reach into, uh, we'll reach and grab Pikachu right by the shocking tail. Um, and then we're going to Thunder Wave it. Boom, it is now paralyzed, and now there's no way it can resist a Premier Ball. Right? Oh, Pikachu, I can't see the ball. I can just see the Pikachu. And I captured Eevee. That's the second Eevee I've caught. <sighs> Makes me feel good. Look at that. Two Eevees side by side. You can come back, and you... 200 boxes. Wow. Where was the other one? Right here. No, this is not the right one. You gotta go here. You gotta go here because this is the possible team selection thing. Speaking of which, I'm gonna go ahead and get some more uh, pickup drops here from the from the 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 what, what should I call these guys? The fan pickups, the pickup fan peas, the fan pee pickups, the pee peas. <laughs> I don't know what to call them. If you guys can come up with a, a clever name. Please let me know in the comments. Also, please let me know which of these guys would you like to see? Which three of these do you think would be the best for next week's 
week one challenge. I'm waiting. Hope you guys enjoy the episode. I will see you in the next one, which will be two days from now. It is Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays for all your Pixelmon needs. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays for all your source block needs. Mondays for Mind Crack and Vintage Craft and anything else that uh, doesn't fit in with the other days. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode, though. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.